everyone and welcome to Griffith Park in Los Angeles. Today I will be taking Amtrak's Pacific Surfliner um, back to San Diego, but I have to get to Union Station first, so let's join me at Union Station. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, there's going to be great views and great scenery. Let's go. So welcome to Los Angeles Union Station. Union Station opened in May 3rd of 1939 and boasts a total of six island platforms. Union Station is also one of the few stations in the U.S. that has a Amtrak Metropolitan Lounge. The station is also quite a hub for Amtrak's long distance and regional trains and Metrolink's commuter trains. Along with that, you can also catch the purple and red subway lines and the gold light rail line from Union Station as well. Currently though, I'm in quite a hurry as my train is leaving in about 15 minutes. So without further ado, let's head to the platforms. With no time to waste, let's get on board. Each car on the Pacific Surfliner train set is named after a certain site on the route. This car is named Laguna Beach. Today's train was quite packed and it took me quite a while to actually find a seat. I eventually settled down in seat 62, which unfortunately was an aisle seat. By this point, the train had already departed Los Angeles. So with that in mind, let's take a look at our route for today. After leaving Los Angeles, we start our three hour journey down to San Diego, making eight intermediate stops and following the Pacific coastline for most of the route. So without further ado, I think it's time we take a look around our seat. First things first, the legroom, as always on Amtrak, is pretty fantastic. Although, I do have my backpack in front of my legs at the moment, so it can hinder the legroom a little bit. But as you can see, once my backpack is out of the way, the legroom is pretty good, with there even being a small footrest, which I find is a very nice touch. Next, we have a fold-down table, although the design doesn't make these exactly sturdy. We also have a customer safety card with the Pacific Surfliner branding on the safety card as well. And recline controls to the side of the seat. And these seats do recline quite a bit. However, I found that my seat's headrest was missing, which was kind of strange as they were not missing on the train to Los Angeles. Speaking of the seats, they have a very nice wavy pattern on them, which I find is a nice touch. Lastly, the seats also have window blinds and reading lights. Yeah. 
By this point, I also managed to switch to a window seat, just in time for the coastline views that are about to come. At this point, I also decided to try to connect onto the onboard Wi-Fi. However, as you can see here, I had quite a hard time connecting to the Wi-Fi network as my phone wasn't exactly responding to my inputs. However, that didn't really matter as we were approaching the Pacific coastline and the views were about to get jaw-droppingly beautiful. Alrighty, time to check out this train. As usual per Amtrak trains, doors can be operated by your foot or by your hands with buttons situated where your foot and hands are. I find this very useful, especially during times like COVID-19. Time to check out the lavatories on board. I am happy to report that these lavatories were in clean and working order. Here is seating on the lower level of the train. Seating here is laid out in a 2 plus 1 configuration, despite this being coach class. This is also where you can find the accessible seats as there are no elevators on the train. With that, let's head back to my seat and enjoy the beautiful views. Thank you. 
So, as this memorable trip comes to a close, what did I think about Amtrak's Pacific Surfliner? First off, I thought the scenery was absolutely beautiful. If you ever get a chance to take the Pacific Surfliner, I highly suggest you take it during the sunset. The scenery is pretty much life-changing. So, how much did this trip cost? Well, this trip costed about $36 per person, which, in my opinion, is not that bad as far as Amtrak prices go. So, all in all, would I recommend Amtrak's Pacific Surfliner? Absolutely. The prices are modest in coach class, and the scenery is absolutely beautiful. So, if you ever have the chance to take this train, I highly encourage you to give it a shot. You will not be disappointed.